All right, here we go. Spawning up the top right for the Shopify Rebellion. It is the Blue Terran player, Bion. And his opponent spawning down in the bottom left for Basilisk, the young Canadian. Give it up for Trigger in the red. Absolutely phenomenal player this year, Trigger. Great young up and coming player. And at this point, I think I would solidly put him. I would absolutely put him as a top 10 Protoss. I think you could make an argument that he's like the seventh or eighth best Protoss in the world right now. I think there's still a good number of players ahead of him, but I think that he is definitely on the rise and it's it's been really enjoyable to watch him continue to go and continue to improve. And you know what? I'm I am a little bit biased. I'm happy to have another Canadian coming up at the top. That's awesome. Trigger, by the way. Oh, he's looking around. He hasn't gotten into the main base, so he doesn't know for sure that it's a one racks expand. But it is going to be. And he is going to be able to get here at the time of denial, which is around 138, 140. Good stuff indeed. We will see the command center getting dropped on down there. What? That was delayed for that was delayed for a solid like seven, eight, nine seconds. That's pretty darn good. Uh, behind this Reaper Marine. So yeah, we will need to see a bunker coming on up and be on. Shift clicking it off that SCV that was building the second depot. But you know, unoptimal didn't drop drop this depot. May as well tap out. GG. That bunker is going to be a second late for all the units the trigger sending across the map. Uh, trigger, by the way, opening up with a stalker. Two stalkers, in fact. That is quite interesting. He's going to maybe try and put some pressure on. Double command center. Okay, beyond opening up Reaper. Reaper Marine. It was Reaper Marine Marine, but he actually canceled the second Marine, started up a reactor, and builds that third command center as well. And now second barracks as well. This is going to be quite interesting. Quite intriguing. And it's a Twilight Council coming out of Trigger. Oh, Bian. Only one Marine in the bunker, but it is enough to save the... Uh, save the SCV, the natural. Because after all, all he needs to do is jump into the bunker. Uh, this is a good enough position on this pylon that he can build the Twilight Council out of range. And Bian not able to get the scout here. Will be three racks, not a second or uh, two racks in an engineering bay. Trigger, is he going to go for a big old four gate blink or is this going to be like a two gate robo expand? Uh, the Colossus do have 10 range right now after extended thermal lance. Oh, this is very nice for Bian. He's going to thread the needle. Good probe pull here from Trigger. Very nice little probe pull. Oh, but Yun will be able to get one of those probes. Almost gets a second, but he doesn't get the scout. He's covered pretty much everywhere except where he needs to see. Behind this trigger, quick third and fourth gas, as well as that third base. So it will, in fact, be just a macro play out of trigger. Just a macro play. He can still put some pressure on with the uh, blank, but he doesn't know what his opponent is doing. He doesn't know that there's only one gas for a very long time. He doesn't know that there's a fast third CC, a fast three racks follow-up. And that there's no Widowmind drop coming or no Banshees coming or nothing that can keep him at home that he doesn't know that he can move across the map with anything, everything right now. Anything or everything. Uh, and in fact, look at this. He's preparing for that five-minute Widowmind drop timing. Well, it's like 440, but you usually want Stalkers around this time. Blink usually finishes up at around the five minute mark. Trigger. Not pumping probes maybe as hard as he could. So the fact that Bion has gotten away with this is really nice. Oh, blink, 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 blink. Barely gets, no, no, no. Oh, oh. 
Trigger. Triggering me. Oh, we're gonna see a recall on the singular stalker. No, 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 trigger. Don't go up the ramp. Should have just probably sat at the top of his ramp. Uh, do we have a Colossus out yet? No, we do not. No Colossus. No, uh... No Immortal. We need to see some incredible kiting here. And Combat Shields and Stim are completing right now. There it is. We need to see Battery Overcharge immediately. Oh, Byun not getting into on top of the battery. Great Blink Micro here from Trigger. A very nice defensive Blink Micro. And that's going to allow Trigger to push this back. That actually was the kiting we needed to see. Some extremely nice Micro. Oh, Trigger. Oh, he re-engages here. He is going to be kiting back. There's no concussive shells. Can he get this one Stalker away? Yes, he can. Very nicely done. That is still an excellent defense from Byun, or from Trigger. Trigger's ahead. Trigger is definitely ahead in this game. He could have lost, you know, one or two less stalkers, but that is really being nitpicky off of a great defense. And like, it's unfair to accept or expect absolute perfection. The game is so difficult. Now that third command center, it's been pumping SCVs this whole time. So it's not like Bian was doing an all in with this. This is still a good situation for Bian just in terms of economy, but Trigger definitely has some map control right now. Ooh, he does lose one Stalker. Manages to get a Marine, but obviously Stalker's way more expensive than Marines. Oh, another Stalker going down for another Marine. If he was sniping Marauders, it wouldn't be so bad. Like, Marauders for Stalkers is still better for the Terran, but it's, it's not the worst, especially with... Uh, with Colossus hitting the field, but yeah, there's there's quite a few Marauders here. Trigger. Oh, can he get away with this Stalker? Yes, he can. We'll lose this one pylon, but he's not going to be supply locked. It's just a spotter pylon, and it was always intended to be. Trigger getting up to eight gates right about now. No forge. Is he going to go double forge, or is he just going to go for a big attack with three Colossus and extended thermal lance? If he does, I'd like to see a Templar Archives. Beyond behind this, plus one vehicle weapons as well as plus one armor and plus two attack. Uh, Beyond with a funky little setup right here where it feels like Marauders should be able to pop out right here now. But it looks like they have to walk the long way around. Kind of funky. There it is. War Prism coming on in. Trigger sitting on 62 probes. He is He is going for it is absolutely going to be going for it here. Oh, was that an Observer getting picked off? I think it might have been. Will Beyond be able to defend this? He does have a pretty nice spread. Nice little wall on this mineral line, too. No bunker, but still solid. Three Colossus, though. They do have that extended Thermal Lance now and 10 range. Byun is very close to a bunch of important upgrades. Charizard's just going to storm on forward. We do see a Blink aggressively in on top of one of the tanks. Gets it down. Colossus are going to be providing a lot of firepower, but there is a big arc for Byun. Now, where is the War Prism? There it is. We need to start juggling these Colossus, and he will be able to do so. Oh, good micro here from Trigger. Very good micro. He is floating a lot of money, but that's because he hasn't been able to warp in. He had to be using that uh, War Prism for the juggling. Now, no SCVs were pulled, but most of the Marauders got killed off. It's 11 Marines, 4 Marauders, 1 tank. However, it is 1-1 versus 0-0, soon to be 2-1 versus 0-0. Trigger really needs to get in here now. He sniped off another Marauder. That's great. There's a big Zealot Warp in. Second War Prism being built, as well as a Templar Archives and plus one weapons. Ooh, these Colossus going to get some good work done. Blink Forward does grab one of the Siege Tanks. And I think Trigger might be doing it right here, right now. Still enough Zealots to cover the Colossus. Oh, one of them does go down. It didn't get close enough to the War Prism to get picked up. Second one is going to survive the Vikings, but Bion is starting to push this back. He did lose 19 SCVs. Trigger, he is on the verge of breaking through. Second War Prism in the main base would be so difficult for Bion to deal with right now. I think that's what Trigger is aiming for. There's the Archon Morph. 19 SCVs go down. I would love to see it warp right here. Two on the high ground, two on the low ground. Archon's going to come on in. Charge lots as well. 
Siege Tank in the back. Target firing the one Colossus. Not going to be able to get it in time. And the Marauders, they will go for that Colossus. They get it. But the other Colossus is standing strong. Zealots. Oh, no. No Orbit in the main base. Again, it doesn't matter, though. Trigger will break through. And get the job done. Very well done by Trigger. It goes up 1-0. to zero. And here we go for game number two. Spawning up at the top right. For the Shopify Rebellion, it's Beyond. Finding himself down 1-0. Not what he expected. Not to this man spawning down in the bottom left for Basilisk. It's Trigger. In the red. Coming in like a wrecking ball. Hitting a sharp timing. Hitting it hard. Some good defense early on. And Beyond got a really great build order. Don't make no mistake, like Trigger did not play greedy against a really greedy opener. It was Bion who had the build order advantage by all accounts. Trigger, though, great micro on the defense against that first push. And he realized he was in a good enough position to push off of it and get some really nice work done on the other side of the map. Uh, will be a gas first, gas first engineering bay block. Okay, this is such a nice little combo. Because, of course, you can build those reactor Hellions. You can get lots of stuff done. And, oh, this is so much HP already on this engineering bay. Beyond's like, yeah, I've got enough. This is good. Ooh! Trigger almost sniping that SCV at the barracks, but he's not going to be able to get it. Now... He doesn't realize that there is an engineer. Oh, no. What am I saying? Yes, he does. No, no, he does. Wait, does he not? Okay, he does now. Yeah, he's building. For some reason, I looked at this and thought it was a Nexus being built right here. I just glanced at the minimap and fooled myself. Big foolishness. Trigger. He's going to need to build a shield battery here. It is going to be Reactor Hellion behind this. And yeah, Marine into Reactor Hellion makes sense. Are we going to see Bion doing a proxy Starport of some kind? No, but we might just see Trigger doing a proxy Stargate. Ooh, Bion not quite going far enough. So close yet so far. I think this is going to be proxy Stargate. Oh, oh, he's building a uh, gateway at home. So no, this is going to be a proxy third gate. Trigger taking a page out of Max Pax's book. Very nifty. I will say, Trigger needs a shield battery at the third base, but he needs to see that he needs a shield battery. Okay. Hellions are going to get on top of this adept. Trigger. Should be able to get away. No, he won't. What am I saying? Good micro from Beyond right there. Shield battery. Shield battery, please. Please, please, please. Uh, I will say... The three-gate setup... Beyond is not going to be prepared for a counterattack, I don't think. He does have a Widow Mine. Oh, no, he has two Widow Mines on the way. He doesn't know yet if it's Stargate or if it's... Uh, if it's Stargate, Twilight, Robo, or in this case, Three Gate. Oh, Trigger. Oh, man. Why did we not build a shield battery here? Beyond oh, Beyond's going to find the probes. Recall. It's so silly. We save one probe. That is not even remotely worth it. Trigger on the other side of the map. Oh, he's not going to notice the mine. But the second one. Please pull back. Please pull back. Please pull back. Okay. Okay. He pulls back. Stalker's on the ramp. If Trigger had recalled those probes earlier, I'm actually kind of fine with how he's done this. But the fact that he didn't makes this very bad. Very, very bad for Trigger. Uh, is Bion going to move out with the mines? Okay, two of them. I would have liked maybe if he'd moved out with this mine because it would have recharged while it was in transit, but it's fine. It, it finishes anyways. Elian's going to come back into the third base. Oh, and they're going to find quite a few more probes. Trigger getting so greedy. Just refusing to build that shield battery. And he would have lost...
probably no probes on that run. Instead of 11 workers going down, we're probably looking at like four or five. Oh god, the, oh my god, the probe pull. Okay, Bion not target firing, but he is gonna trap these probes. Oh, oh good pull, good split. Still, look at the supplies right now. Bion's up six workers against the Protoss that has lost a lot of mining time. The tech was delayed. Does have Blink nearly done now. And a War Prison being produced, but I don't really see how this can... Well, I'm... Hmm. How many Stalkers do we have? Only seven Stalkers and there's only three gates. Is he going to warp in here? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Trigger, Trigger is right to try and go for this. Uh, he needs to pretty much win the game. Where's the Banshee? A Banshee was made by Bion. And with, once again, no shield battery on this base, Trigger is going to get punished so hard. Nice blink past of the Widow Mine. Siege tank. Does Trigger see it? No, he doesn't. Part of what makes Max Pack so good at this, by the way, is figuring out exactly where his opponent's units are. God, this is such a small map for Blink. Oh, man. And he's going to have to Blink into the Widow Mine. Banshee on the third base. That's going to kill all four probes here, which is still like 20% of his opponent's economy. Oh, good dodge on the Widow Mine shot. Did take down one of his opponents. Well, will take down one of his opponent's tanks and took down the Raven. Can Trigger get anything done here? I mean, the War Prism Micro is good, but another tank pops out. Yeah, there's no chance. Honestly, a Zealot Warp in would have probably been better here. Because he knows he needs to win the game because he can. Yun will hold. And will send it to game number two. Three. Game number three. One apiece. All right, here we go. Spawning up at the top left for the Shopify Rebellion. It's Bion. And his opponent. Spawning down on the bottom right for Basilisk. It is Trigger. In the red. Bion, obviously getting a lot of work done there with that reactor Hellion set up, and Trigger felt compelled to go for the counter all in. And it's a bad map for it. Altitude is a really tight map. Really tight map. Not the kind of thing you want to... You want to try that on. You're really not going to have a good time. Trigger almost killing one of Bion's probes or uh, SEVs. Getting it down to 5 HP there. Oh. One Rax expand. Will get blocked. Good job by Trigger here. Oh, but Bion gets it down. Sneaky, sneaky. That's why we always add this to rapid fire. If your opponent makes a mistake, you punish it. You punish it. But yeah, Trigger pretty much lost that game when the first... Well, actually, the first Hellion setup didn't completely knock him out of the game. The second run by and the Widow Mind drop got a lot of damage done. And then, of course, I mean, Bion was just prepared for the counter all-in. Normally, that wouldn't be an all-in. Normally, you'd be probing out of that. You'd But but you, he was on such a bad worker count to start. Yeah, it's just not a, not a viable situation to macro out of. Oh, another fast third CC coming out of Bion here. Man, really pushing the greed to the maximum against Trigger. And you know what? If Trigger's going to be going two-gate robo, two-gate blink robo, I mean, it's, it's not bad to go for this. Not bad at all. I will say Bion probably shouldn't have pushed out with the first uh, blink attack on in game number one. But I wonder if he'll try the same thing in this third game. Assuming, of course, he does go for the three-rack setup. 
will be on. Oh, doesn't want to lose this Reaper, but I think... Oh, it is going to go down. Good job from Trigger to punish that little mistake. And, oh my goodness, there's no bunker at the natural. Uh, this is not ideal. Trigger gets an SCV and a Marine right there with this Adept. Will be a third Barracks coming on in behind this from Bian. Trigger. Oh, good. Quick reaction time. Gets out of here. Of course, this bunker is going to complete. Trigger only able to get uh, a single free shot there. Meanwhile, behind this, the third Nexus. Yun. He's going to be able to get away with this quite greedy setup. Something we don't talk about uh, in regards to players at this level is the crispness of some of their builds. Some, we, we kind of just, you know, gloss over it. But I will say Bion is one of the better, if not best players at like being super, super sharp and super tight about his timings. Him, Clem, obviously Maru, but I really think of Bion and Clem as like, there's like an edge to their play. There's there's a sharpness to it. And obviously it's like simple to look at a tech lab and be like, oh, he built that tech lab super fast. Yeah, that's good. But it just, I don't know, something about Bion's play, it feels like he, sh he saves milliseconds. It feels like he shaves as much down on uh, how much a build is gonna cost him in terms of time as possible. Now I would love to see Trigger just move into the natural and see what he can get done. Because, of course, he can blink out right here. But Bion... Oh, Bion's going to be moving forward. Trigger will snipe down a Marauder, but he's going to lose a Stalker. Not free. First Colossus is once again being produced. Trigger... Ooh, has the Observer getting scanned and will lose it. Now, what are they going to do here? Trigger. Ooh, double forge behind us. Starts out that extended thermal lance. Turn your Colossus into long boys. Bion is landing this command center. Trigger, nice split target fire there. He changed targets to one of the Marines. Oh, gotta be careful. Ooh, does... Oh, barely gets out. Nice job. Very nice job. Now this... This time, though, he's not so lucky. Does hide in the smoke. That would have actually been nice. He could have gotten a few pot shots. Plus one armor. Please, please, please. Trigger. Oh, he put this forge. He needs to put this probe. He needs to fix it. He needs to fix its saturation. And he needs to get that plus one armor desperately. Super important. Oh, please. Please fix both. Please. Signed, Steadfast. Your biggest fan. How many stalkers? Two stalkers in the observer. Okay. Fourth Nexus on the way. Oh my god, no plus one armor. That's so painful. Oh, and this is so inefficient on this gas. It's honestly not the big... It probably won't change the outcome of the game, but it just bothers me. Concussive Shells is now done, and that's going to make this annoying to uh, fight. Beyond, by the way, is going for Siege Tanks once again. He tried this in game number one. Maybe because of... Uh, maybe playing this way because of the pain. Trigger, please fix this saturation. Oh my god, it's bothering me so much. I'm so distracted. Probe's being transferred over to the newest base. Trigger, how many Colossus do we have? Already two. 71 SCVs for Bion. Bion's economy, man. Meanwhile, a, once again, a second engineering bay and an armory before getting the plus one uh, armor. So he gets it. He's going to be having that plus two attack coming online quite early, relatively speaking. This time, though, Trigger is going to be able to keep pace with his opponent's upgrades and actually will pull a lead. Oh my god, for a second I thought he fixed it. Nope. Plus two attack. Go, go. Extended Thermal Lance has completed, yes. There's that plus two weapons. I'm going to keep checking it until I, I see it's fixed or until the gas geyser is gone. Scan comes down. 
Very unlucky Marine running town to the bottom side. Ooh, oh, that's an instant scout on the Observer. Man, these top Terrans are so good at spotting that Shimmer. So damn good. Trigger going uh, rather quickly up to a sixth and seventh gas. Oh, please fix the saturation. You're killing me. This is killing me. I won't survive. Both players going hard on the eco, and it does make sense. This is Gresvon. This is a map where you would expect the players to do so. It just, it just takes so long. It takes so long. Uh, I do like the addition of an immortal here. Once you've got your three colossi. Byun is playing three tank. No Vikings for a little bit. There we go. First two Vikings just now finishing on, well, coming online. And Byun up to eight barracks. Ooh, big drop in the natural expansion. Trigger was not prepared. Oh my goodness. He's got the army completely out of position. Immortal just barely pops out, but will get taken down very quickly. Charge not yet done. These Zealots, they're doing a good job tanking. Oh, oh my goodness. That Colossus is getting some big shots. And Bian actually forced to leave a lot of units here in the natural. So this actually goes better than expected for Trigger. He does lose the robotics facility, which is not ideal. But it could have been so much worse. Meanwhile, Trigger going to be building some cannons at this fifth base attempt. Trigger will be ahead in upgrades pretty soon. Once that plus two... Actually, he's already technically ahead in upgrades, but only for a little bit longer. We'll be getting that plus three weapons hopefully pretty soon. Yun? Yeah, that's got to be a planetary. It's got to be a planetary. Meanwhile, Disruptor's coming on in. Two more robotics facility. Second one, nearly done. Third one just started. And I do like Trigger getting a cannon and a shield... Or a couple cannons and a shield battery in the natural. The threat of a drop is... Well, it's pretty significant. Meanwhile, Dark Shrine coming online. Please start up that plus three weapons as well. Please, please, please. Byun getting into his ghosts. He did get plus one vehicle weapon. Oh, no, he changed it to plus one ship weapons. Oh, okay. So going to be ready for a Liberator transition. Trigger does see this army with some very well-placed observers. Ooh, can he fire? Okay, no, he's not going to be able to blind fire. Plus two armor, not quite done, but it will be done momentarily. Huge EMPs on this army. Battery overcharge, not coming on in. There we go, finally gets popped, but after one of the Colossus falls, second Disruptor will join on up. Beyond very overstimmed. Trigger blinking forward behind the cover of the charge lots. And with two Colossus and a very overstimmed bio army, Beyond will get forced back. Trigger, All right, he's going to hold. There's that plus three weapons. Would love to see plus three armor as well. Plus two ship weapons for Beyond, and he's getting into his fusion core as well as uh, an extra starport. Is he already... He's only on one starport. Yeah, one starport right now. How many Vikings are there? There's only four. Oh, this sneaky disruptor shot from the smoke. Will get dodged by Beyond. Great scan. But... Still a few units going down. I think that was just one disruptor that fell. Yeah, the second one was able to be saved. Good job by Bian, though, to avoid that. Ooh, Trigger does find the army a little bit exposed right here. There's no Vikings with this. Big Link Ford grabs one siege tank. Other one was caught quite quickly in the fight. This ooh, disruptor shot barely just clips a single Marine. Three disruptors at a time. There's the blink DTs. Ten DTs warping on in. There they are on the bottom side. And Trigger is definitely going to need to wait for blink. May as well wait for plus three weapons at this point. Oh, disruptor shot finds a couple of ghosts. Very nice find for Trigger here. Clips the missile turret as well. Oh, Trigger actually could have gotten that, I think. Yeah, just wait for plus three and shadow stride. There's shadow stride. Oh, little bit of a miscue right here, but he does hit the missile turret. Byun still going to lose that base. He was fighting at the front. Trigger going to recall. Oh, he loses a lot, though. Was that the right call to recall? 
I'm honestly not sure. Byun almost losing another command center here. If Trigger sticks around in this location, he might get it. 16 SCVs did go down during all this. Trigger's on 93 probes to 71 SCVs. Ooh, big Archon Morph. Can Byun see this? No, he cannot. Not yet. Oh, we dropped the EMPs. There's four Archons joining the fight. There's one EMP. Archon's not going to be the most valuable here, but if they soak EMPs, that's kind of nice. Still, I would have loved to see him keep the Blink DTs. How many D uh, Disruptors do we have? Five Disruptors, three more in production. And plus three ground armor is nearly complete. Liberators are not yet in production for Byun. He is too far down in supply to, I think, justify them. But now we're going to see Trigger ooh, trying to get this base. Oh, wow. That was actually a decent mule shot. It only hit three SCVs, but it killed like three mules as well. Two or three mules. Trigger trying to out multitask Byun here. Plus three ground armor nearly completed. Ooh, the Colossus from the low ground going to be pretty decent here. Huge disruptor shot. I thought that was fired out from further back, but it was not. Byun is losing energy. Well, he's out of energy on these medevacs, and he's losing medevacs as well. Double expand coming in from Trigger. There's no Vikings on the field. At this point, just pump a round of Colossus, get three more Colossus, go up to four, and just close this game out in comfort. But the Disruptors, they might just do the job themselves. Yun, ooh, he's doing a good job of avoiding these Disruptor shots. But Trigger is doing an excellent job of preventing himself from being chased down. Meanwhile, yeah, look at these new bases. Trigger going up to, what is that, eight bases? Yeah, Trigger just get some more Colossus. Just get the stability in the army. He is getting plus one shields as well. I wouldn't mind another round of DT warp-ins. Ooh, Disruptor gets three Ghost right there. That's a huge pickoff. And Trigger is really making it happen here. And now he's able to siege from the low ground with this one Colossus. 22 kills on that bad boy. Oh, it will go down, though. But not before it gets a couple of Marines. Toasted on up. Trigger is remaxed already. He's building Colossus once again. Yun is really on the back foot. He's trying to get a good spread, but the Disruptors are just too numerous. Trigger might be overcommitting a little bit, but even if he is, he's got the money to replenish. He's got the economy. Look at the income from both players right here. But one of them has mules, the other does not. And those mules mean that the bases mine out faster, of course. Now, Byun is on five bases, but Trigger is on eight Nexus now. And he's even going to start mining from this newest base. Nice to see. Ooh, Disruptors. Flipping the edge of the army again. Trigger with a really nicely placed Observer Beyond. Oh, can he find it? We're oh, we're going to see a Blink Forward in on top of the Liberators. They are going to be found exposed. Disruptors will kill a Sensor Tower. Another solid Disruptor shot coming on in here. And Trigger clearing out even more Medivacs as well. There's only three Medivacs. They're completely out of juice. And now the additional Colossus show up. 97 probes for Trigger. And he has done it here in game number three. 17 minutes on Grespawn. Trigger takes down Beyond and advances to the next round. The Canadian boy gets the job done. If you enjoyed that series, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we will catch you on the flip side.